All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our free online lessons. And thank you for joining me today. So today's lesson will be the simple bridge in infra work. So I hope that you all can hear me and can see my screen. So if you cannot hear me, you can see my screen or you have questions uh, regarding this uh, FOL, today FOL. So you just let me know at the chat box, okay? So uh, as usual, I will introduce myself first. My name is Aunu Umira. I am the application engineer at ATAP System. Yes, can see. Okay, thank you, CCW. Thank you. All right. So today output will be the okay. Today output we're going to create uh generate uh create a bridge design, a simple bridge design in infra work. So infra work basically we just uh, do a visualization in uh in the infra work. Uh, the bridge. So we just uh, do the visual bridge visualization in infra work. So we don't need that accurate uh, value of uh, the bridge. So uh, just uh, from scratch. And then if you want to do the accurate value, you can export it to Revit. So for today's lesson, we're going to uh, create the bridge first in uh, infra work. So firstly, we have to generate the model where the location of the bridge will be uh, will be insert or will be uh, construct. And then we going to create a route before we generate the bridge and we uh, do the uh, route profile view and cut and fill section. And lastly, we will generate the uh, create the bridge from the road that we just uh, insert in in front of. okay so without wasting time let's get started to our lesson i'm going to open my infra work okay so i already opened my infra work here so if you open your infra work you basically your infra work will, will be uh, interface will be like this so to generate model or to generate the location where you want to insert, where you want to create a bridge. So click on this model builder. So it will pop up model builder uh, windows. So here you can find the exact location in earth and where in earth. So basically you will use the, the Google map to generate where you want. So for example, you you can either just uh, drag your mouse and find where where the location uh where the location you want to create the bridge or you can just uh insert the exact location for example i want to insert Kuala Kuala Kamsa, for example so just click on the location so hi hi you are just coming in thank you Okay, so it will generate the exact location where you uh, search it. Okay, for example, I like to I I search in Kuala Kansa because there are a uh, river there and water water there. Okay, and just find any like your specific location, and you can use this draw rectangle to like um specify the region the area yet that you want uh, to generate it okay for example i want it to generate at here so the bigger the uh, the area that you generate the longer the time it takes to generate your model okay then for example i just which one for example i insert the name for our model and then if you have description you can insert here and for the coordinate, so I don't have the accurate coordinate for today's lesson. So I'm just going to use LL at 84. This one is like a default coordinate that being uh, uh, that being uh, request that being given, sorry, be given by the infra work. So just click on this one. If you have your own coordinate, you have your own accurate coordinate, you can just click on not selected here it will pop up the various of coordination that you can choose. 
Okay, so I just use LL84 here and then click on generate, uh, create model. Okay, so it will uh, show like this. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, so it will prepare our, your model and it will email you whether, uh, whenever the model is already. So click on continue. So I'll close on that. So I'm not going to wait the model that I just created just now. So I just going to use the one that I already created before. So I just use this one, FOL. And then you can find that this is my uh, model that I just generated before this. Okay. So I would like to uh, create uh, the bridge around here. Okay. Connect it to existing root that already have in the model. Okay. So usually I prefer to check the unit first. So to check you the unit uh, in infrared. So you can go here at like the setting icon here. So this one is the application option. Click on this one and then you can find there is the unit configuration. Okay, click on this one and here you can find your length unit, your width unit, volume, area, slope and so on. So if you want to change the unit, you can go here at the type. here at back here so you click this drop down then you can find others units that you can choose okay i'm going to cancel on that because i'm okay with a meter so to create road first first we're going to create a road so click on create tag here then you can find there is a planning road i'm going to use planning road to generate our bridge today so click on this planning road and then you can search sidewalk or if you don't search, you can uh, like uh, choose any, uh, any root style that you want. Okay, there's a bunch of uh, options that you can choose. Okay, for example, I'm going to choose, I'm going to like specify it, search it, uh, sidewalk. So I'm going to use this sidewalk with lamp strip. Click on this one. And then I just going to click anywhere at this uh, existing root. For example, here. And drag it to other side like this. Okay, so if you want to end your uh, your um, this uh, location you want to end at this location and just double click or you can tap tap enter two times in your keyboard so it will generate the root for uh, the specific uh, specific location that you can you just uh, create just now okay it will look like this all right so next one is, for example, you want to add like one more lane or you want to add more curb or you want to add more sidewalk in here, you can just click on the road, okay? Click on the road, uh, okay, sorry, not click on the road. You go to manage that and then you can find that is, uh, star palette so this is same as in um, uh, civil 3d so click on this civ uh, star palette and then you can find here root that scroll down until you find root this one root so here you can edit the style edit the element in your root style so just now uh, you choose uh, the style for the root you, you, you click on what root you choose just now. Okay, for example, I'm using, just now I'm using sidewalk with lamp, this one. So double click on it. So it will pop up the configure street for uh, the sidewalk with lamp. Okay. 
And then you can find there is a group track, so a curve, part way, side way. So this one I uh, add, add, I just add. So I just going to delete on this. So the the original uh the original sidewalk with slam there is no curb yet from the side here. So for example, you want to add curb for this side and also this side. So click on this plus button here, green color here. Click on this one and bring it down. Bring the a new element you want to add it down. Because I want to add curb. So name it as curb. And then the track width uh, will be 0 0.5. And uh, I'm going to change the surface category, inner surface category. Change this one to curb side. Okay. So any other element that you want to add, for example, you want to uh, add the group height or you want to add the inner height offset. You want to specify the track top surface category here. Okay. You can insert according to your preference and uh, your uh, project. Okay. So for me, I'm just going to let it like this. And then I click on OK. Okay, then close on this star palette. So you can see that is a curve, the red color one, the curve that I just add on. Okay, next one. Before we go to the profile view, so you have to change this planning route to a component route. So how to change it? So right click on the route and you have, and there is Convert, convert to component root option here. Click on this one. And then now your root, your planning root are convert into a, a component root. Okay. So why do I change it to component root first? Uh, not using the component root at the, in the first place because Hi, hi, who just won, uh, who just coming in and join me. Thank you. Okay, because if uh, I'm using the component root uh, at the first place, it's difficult for me to add uh, more elements. So for example, I want to add more lane, I want to add curb. So it's like a uh, little bit difficult. So I prefer uh, using planning, uh, planning root first and then adjust the element. Okay. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, I'm using planning root and then adjust the element at the star palette. And then I will uh, convert it to component root. Okay, after I satisfied with my adjustment in the star palette, mm -hmm. I just going to convert it to component root. That is the easiest step for me. So if you want to use the first place, you want to use the component root, uh, you also can, but for me, it's like quite difficult to change the element in it. So I just going using the planning root, which uh, being prepared, the element in the style in there be prepared by infrared itself. And then I, if I have adjustment on the uh, style, okay, the style here, I have adjustment, the, I will just go to the style palette and add more lane, add more curve or sidewalk that I want. Okay, and then I convert it to component root. Okay, if I'm satisfied with this, settle uh, with the component, uh, change it to component root. So to show the profile view, so you can click on this monitor, like a uh, monitor icon here. So this one is view slash display. So click on this one and then click on profile view. Then click on your root, component root like that. Okay, you can find that is the profile view for this route. So there is a slope there, negative 1.280%. So at here, like there is a, a elevation there. So this one is negative 2802 and then negative, uh, and then 1.5% the slope here. 
and it will also show the uh, station, the elevation there. Okay, so this yellow the yellow line is used. Uh, the function of this uh, yellow line is you can drag it like uh, anywhere that you want it to specify uh, where exactly the elevation and also the station there. Okay, for example, you can also use at, at the model. So you can also drag it. For example, you want to know the exact location for the lamp here. So bring it to the lamp. And then the elevation for this lamp is uh, at this location is 23.53. And also the station here are 299.4. Uh, okay. So this is how you uh, view the profile view in in infrared so it's uh, more to visualization so if in civil 3d the prof the profile view are more detailed so this one is just for the visualization okay so next one is i'm going to show how to generate the cut and fill volume and also we know the value for cut and fill in this group okay to, to show it so I'm going to close on the profile view first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the grading material first. Okay. So you go to, you click on the road and then you go to road uh, properties here. And you can find there is grading method under the grading column. Click this fix with drop down and then change this one to fix loop. So there will be cut material and fill material. So the setting for the grading, you can also do that right here. Okay, you can find there is grading limit now of uh, five meter. So if you want it to be a larger or you want it to be deep, uh, more lesser, so you just change here. And then the cut slope uh, ratio and fill slope ratio also you can change the grading setting here so i don't want to change anything i'm just going to use default setting here i'm going what i'm going to do i'm just going to insert the material so currently my cut material and free material are not being inserted so i just click on this box and you can find this the material that recently i use so if you don't know uh you don't have this uh, option so just go you just go to more style and then you can find here is uh, the material that you can uh, insert in the cut and fill material so if you just want the color you click on the color tab okay so i'm just going to use the option that given here because i uh, currently use it before so for the cut material just use red color and the fill material will I will use green color. And if you okay with the grading setting, we just click on the model, and it will generate the cut and fill uh, model there. Okay, and to show the exact uh, calculation exact value, so you can see here there is circle with cut and fill down here. So click on this one, and then it will pop up these earthwork quantities. So earthwork quantities right now, there is no value, uh, no value for cut and fill because I didn't do the calculation yet. So to do the calculation, you click on this like a play button here. This one is actually compute earthwork quantities. So click on this one. So you can find there is the calculation for cut, and calculation for fill okay which means uh, the fill value uh, uh, this value and the cut value are uh, this value okay so i'm done with the cut and fill calculation so right now after you satisfied with all the setting of the road uh, with the uh, setting for the grading so i'm going to change this uh, road into a bridge. So to do that, you go to create tab and you find here a structure column. Okay, for the structure, the bridge here also, uh, 
infrared will automatically insert the structure in the uh, bridge. For example, the piers, uh, the grinders, uh, the uh, column, the beam there. So it will generate automatically. Okay. So now click on this bridge uh, option here, icon here. So if you don't have uh, this bridge icon here, so you click on this structure drop down, you can find bridge there too. So it is the same thing. Click on the bridge and it will automatically uh, located the road there. So if you have many roads, so you have to click one of the road first. So right now I just have one road, one component route that I create. So it will automatically choose this one and click where you want to start your uh, bridge. So for example, I'm going to start here and click on here and then drag your uh, bridge until the end of the other side there. Okay, click. So it takes a uh, little time to generate uh, the, the bridge. So, so you can find that is our bridge. Okay, the piers there, the uh, grinder there. Okay, if you zoom in into the water, you can find the column are being inserted. So this is the structure of being, uh, this structure, you cannot edit it in infrared, but you can edit it in uh, Revit. So you can export it in Revit and edit it there. So here you are, you can just visualize it. Okay, but you can, Edit the numbers of peers here. Okay. For example, I want the peers here like more than this. I want more. So just click on the bridge. Okay. So you can find here for the bridge group properties. You can find that is a peer. One moment. Where is the peer? Okay, this one. So you can find here bridge, bridge number one. So number of peer. So I want there, I want more peer to be inserted. For example, currently the number of peer is seven. So I want like a 10. So click, change the seven to 10 and click on your model. So it will generate it for you a, mom, uh, a little while. Okay, it take a uh, little time. To uh, generate it because uh, infrared uh, quite uh, slow for the uh, visualization. It's a cloud base. Okay, moment is starting. All right, a moment, it's hanging. I'm just going to like. Okay. A moment. Okay, it's hanging. Sorry for that. So I need to wait for it to be uh, okay first. Okay, it's okay now. Okay, now it's okay already. So you can find the peers I just now have been adding. So there's more peer there. Okay, so uh, the peers now are 10 peers have been inserted for this bridge. Okay, 
Next one is you click on the bridge. If you click on the bridge, okay, you can also change the grinder here. Okay, you want currently there is a four grinder. So exactly like uh basically like a beam for the bridge. Okay, if you want to uh add the grinder or you want to uh to remove the grinder here, you can just uh, go to grinder group properties here. You can find there is number of grinder. So currently there is four grinders, so correct. So if you want to change like three or you want five or more, so just change it, uh, the number of grinder here. Click on the model, so it will generate it for you. So, so if you find here is the grinder. So this this part is still four for but the part that you selected just now, the beam there are uh, only three. Okay. So if you want to change to, to the others, so you use the same step, click on the grinder, change this to three or more, and click on the model. So now the beam there for this bridge at this part are just three or the grinder okay next one i'm going to add like a frame cross frame inside uh the the bridge the grinder okay, inside here so what i'm going to do click on the grinder right click and click on add component click on draw frame so this is how you edit the cross frame in this grinder so enter enter okay after you click on enter you can find the cross frame are being added at the specific uh grinder that you choose just uh select just now okay if you want at add, add this part too so click on this grinder part right click click on add component click on cross cross frame okay and click on enter okay so you can find there is a cross frame that be added like that okay this is how you adding the uh, pierce the grinder and also you add the cross cross frame so next one is i'm going to change this road style to a bridge style so currently it like looks like a road not not look like a bridge yet so to do that i'm just going to use the uh, sub assembly so click on the road right click and then you can find this road assembly so you click on replace assembly Sorry, click right click again on the road, click on road assembly, click on replace assembly. And this select template will pop up. So I'm going to use the uh, bridge lane with bridge lane median with sidewalk. Click on this one. So I'm going to start at this the end of this uh, bridge. And you can see, and you can see this uh, black box here. So this one is the uh, dragging uh, option icon, dragging icon, where you can drag the sub assembly until the end of this uh, until the end of this uh, bridge, like that. Okay. So if okay with this uh, length, so click on enter. It will updating the model. Okay. And then there is your bridge. Okay. So it will automatically insert the element, the, the decoration there, the lamp, 
okay, the barrier and so on. So you can edit more if you want. So like, for example, you want to edit this part, you want to make it more realistic. Okay, you can edit this part to do the intersection. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this one I just uh, randomly generate it from the existing road. So for example, I want it like more accurate. So you can you can do that. Okay. So that's it. That is how you created the bridge in uh, Infra Word. So if there are any question you want to ask me. So if you want, uh, for example, you want to add reinforcement, you want to edit the uh, specific uh, element, you want to edit the pierce here, the size here. So you can do that in Revit. You export this uh, bridge in Revit and then you can edit that. Okay. So if there is no question, so before that, I'm going to uh, share with you our website. So go, so go to acadsystem.com. So this is our website. Uh, we are Autodesk Gold Partner. So if you click on this uh, product here, you can find what product that we provided. And if you scroll down, you can find the sales, updating sales, updating uh, promotion from us. And if you scroll down more, you can find there is the free online lesson for next uh, this next month. Okay. You forward bridge can add in reinforcement bar. Ah, uh, okay. CCW asked me if forward bridge can add in reinforcement bar. So unfortunately, in infrared, you cannot add the uh, the reinforcement. Okay, you can add the reinforcement bar uh, by exporting the uh, the bridge here to in, in to Revit, and then you can add uh, infrared uh, the reinforcement bar there. So unfortunately, in infrared you cannot add the uh, reinforcement bar, but you can add it in Revit. Okay, so Inani Yusra asking. Does this drawing can be test for simulation? Uh, simulation, uh, which means you want to simulate uh, the uh, bridge, okay? Or you want to do a video? Oh. Simulation, uh, yes, uh, this one is just for like uh, the visualization where you want to add like a simulation, okay? Did I answer your question, Minani Yusra? Okay. You can be tested here. But this one is just like you do the uh, scratch, scratch uh, design in the location, like exact location in map, in Google map. And you want to have a specific uh, visualization in 3D, in uh, infrared. So you can do in okay so if you like one like accurate one you can you uh you can do it in power or civil 3d that is more accurate more detailed so this one is just for you to visualize to simulate where you want to add uh, for, for example you want to uh, present to your client or your customer where exactly you want to put it uh, the bridge here and there so you can use infrared as the tools so if you want like the accurate one you can go to revit or uh, civil 3d there is more detail there so ko, ko xiao tian asking can we export it to autocad 3d instead of revit yes can so you, you can also export it to civil 3d so if you can export to civil 3d you can also export it to autocad Uh, where are we just now? Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you for asking too. 
Okay, so I'll continue. So here, for example, you want to join our next current lesson. So just click on the um, uh, picture here. So for example, for uh, like a link to today lesson. So I will show the next lesson will be the export bridge from InfraWork to Revit. So if you want to know how to export InfraWork to Revit, so click on the uh, FOL picture there. And then click on going here. So you, we will email you the date, the time, and also the uh, Zoom meeting uh, link. Okay. Okay. It's, and then if you scroll down more, you can find this is our YouTube channel. So if you miss our previous uh, my previous videos, previous free online lesson. You can also go to our ACAD system, Sundaram Bahad. You can also subscribe us for more update. So we will upload our free online lesson here, the previous one. Also for today, free online lesson will be uploaded too. Okay, you can find there is a bunch more uh, topics and bunch more uh, uh, software that you can, uh, you can watch. Okay. So if that it for today, Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me your time today. So I will end our prayer lesson here today. Thank you, everyone. Take care.